friends and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm coming to you with the final installment of my Eastern Canada travel series. This time we're visiting Prince Edward Island. So when we arrived in Prince Edward Island, we of course crossed the bridge, which is in fact the longest freestanding bridge that crosses water that freezes. Once we got into Prince Edward Island, we visited Charlottetown. Charlottetown is a very historic city for Canada. It's where um, Confederation happened. It's why the bridge to PEI is called Confederation Bridge. So we spent some time exploring Charlottetown. So while we were in PEI, we decided to visit the Anne of Green Gables historical site, which is where the author of Anne of Green Gables, Lucy Maud Montgomery, uh, spent some time in her childhood and it's the location that inspired her to write the books. So a lot of the locations that are there in real life are the locations that are mentioned in the books. For example, um, Lover's Lane is there. Of course, the house with the Green Gables is there. Um, so it was really fun to spend some time there, learn a bit about the history. Also, while we were in PEI, we decided to go to a museum about the Acadian people who lived in PEI. If you're unfamiliar with Canadian history, Acadians were um, basically the precursors to French Canadians. They lived primarily in New Brunswick and then in Quebec. I didn't realize that there was a big Acadian population in Prince Edward Island, but it turns out there was. now. We learned a lot of cool new stuff about the Acadians, but now it's time to leave Prince Edward Island. We had a great time, learned a lot of new stuff, and seen a lot of red dirt. Overall, I feel like our time in PEI was well spent learning more about the history of Canada, some that we know a lot about, like Confederation, and some that we don't know as much about, like the Acadians who lived in Prince Edward Island. After our time in Prince Edward Island, we left, of course, back to the rest of Eastern Canada and eventually home to Ontario. It was the end of our trip, um, which was a really great time overall. I'm so glad that I traveled to Eastern Canada. I feel like you can never underestimate the cool travel experiences that your own country has to offer. If you've enjoyed my travel videos, I would love to know in the comments. Of course, I would love to make more in the future. Uh, but that requires you to travel, which doesn't always uh, work for me on my student schedule or budget, but you know, we can all dream. Where is your favorite place to travel in your own country? Do you feel like the country that you grew up in has cool places that are there to discover that you might not think of going to because you're too focused on going abroad? I know that I've definitely been like that in the past. Places in Europe or South America seem so cool and exotic to me, but there's cool stuff to see right here in Canada. If you've liked this series, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe for more travel videos, hopefully in the near future, but definitely sometime in the future. And let me know in the comments what cool places there are to discover in your country, and maybe I can come visit there someday. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.